It's the robot series. Where do the gut microbes come from and how is the gut biome created? The gut biome or your healthy gut bacteria is actually formed at birth. A newborn baby will be an absolute haven for bacteria to be able to develop and thrive. So you need to be able to think of the biome that you have actually starts with you from birth. Therefore, if you look after your gut biome throughout your life, there is no reason why you won't have a healthy constitution of gut bacteria as you continue throughout your life. However, a newborn baby won't be born with all of the gut bacteria that it needs. A newborn baby actually has to be able to develop a gut bacteria all on its own. The way that it does that is by consuming different types of foods and it also will develop a very strong gut bacteria by coming into contact with different things within the baby's outside environment. So basically, your microbiome acts like a protective bubble and actually protects your body from the outer world, where the body can come into contact with different things within the environment that it's in. The biome is a filtration system that filters food that you eat, drink, and also consume. The chemicals that you are coming into contact with also exist within this environment. The health of your gut biome enables your body and immune system to function under these outside conditions. Your gut biome isn't necessarily something that is just a filter for the outside environment. It also instructs your Mendelian genes, which are the genes that you get from your mum and dad, directing signals and also how the genetic expressions to be able to cope with these changes. So basically, your gut biome isn't necessarily just a filtration system for the things that the body comes into contact with or the things that the body has to deal with within its environment, such as different types of stresses. Your gut biome also instructs your Mendelian genes, which are the genes that are inherited from your ancestry or from your mother and your father. By doing this, the gut biome can direct signals and also help the genetic expressions to be able to cope with the changes and different environments and foods that the individual eats. So the gut microbiome is so powerful that basically it helps to direct signals and also helps gene expression to be able to cope with the changes in the different environments that the body comes in contact with and also the foods that an individual eats. So not only is your gut biome like a filter for the outside uh, environment that the body is placed within, but it's also there to be able to help filtrate food and drink that is consumed by the individual. It also helps to be able to navigate the body through daily environmental stresses. It's the robot series.